Welcome back. So I decided I was going to drill that second hole in the uh, in that trim spring in the spring steel. So as you can see, I've taken it off the aircraft and just used the little transfer punch there in the hole in the secondary hole on that bracket, just to put a mark there where I need to drill. Uh, but we get again because that uh, spring steel is so tough. Um, after doing that, I just got the regular uh, center punch there and uh, made that dent a little deeper so when I was moving up to the centering drill bit it would uh, find that spot nicely and not want to walk around so that's what I'm doing here and as you can see there uh, lying on the table there um, by my hand there I bought um, a carbide bit which is one of those ones for you know doing masonry work that's what people had suggested I think even Brit uh, suggested I try that as well so I was prepared to give that a try, but uh, started out um, with the centering drill just to sort of get a little bit of a hole going there. Not that this can drill through there, but um, at least, you know, put more of a starting point in there than what the uh, transfer punch is or the, the center punch did. So here we go on this guy, and it looked like it was doing something for a little bit. Um, and, you know, this is sped up right now, um, but really... It didn't do much at all and I just didn't want to force it too much and uh, you know get the, the metal too hot and then uh, make it so it was impossible to drill. So I went back to my original plan from last time and just started out with the 1 16th inch uh, drill bit and just stepped my way up through that and it, it takes a while to get that first hole through there just because it just doesn't want to go through but once it's through uh, stepping up from one bit to the other is not that difficult just be careful not to to break the bits as you're doing it um, so as you can see just s stepping up uh, one bit at a time one drill bit at a time and uh, didn't take too long once uh, as I said once I had the first one through there so I got that all sorted out and um, and then got the mounting bracket bolted up there with two bolts this time so I had to drill up to 3 16 inch diameter which is um, the size of the bolts that I'm using, the AN3. But once I'm up to 3 sixteenths, it actually works out better to switch up to the step drill here, and that's what I've done. And uh, just take it through the last hole. For some reason, that, that just cuts better than just a straight up uh, 3 sixteenths inch bit. And this step drill, I actually broke the tip off of it uh, last time when I was trying to drill the holes um, initially on that, the first go round, but it's still usable for the larger sizes there um, so that's how I got that done a little bit of a job but uh, you know at least now it'll have two bolts in there so it's definitely not coming off there anytime soon once that's bolted in so I just had to go through my little hardware bag and uh, find another bolt of the same length of that, of that one because uh, it was a bit shorter than the ones that we had or the one I had on there previously with that uh, other trim spring thing, uh, but you know I had I've got quite a, a good little stash of AN3s and AN4 bolts now of different lengths, so I can pretty much find what I need on the spot and not have to order anything, which is convenient. Um, anyway, so I got that bolted up and uh, and it was time to mount it back into the aircraft. So as you probably gathered, um, I'm just working on a few little projects now there to finish everything off before uh, Justin and Elliot show up again towards the end of the month, end of uh, March that is. Um, but you know, it gives me enough time to do all these little things, um, some some nice to have and you know, there's some that need to be done but they're really, there's nothing major anymore, all the major stuff's already done, it's just little clean up items kind of like this really. Uh, so it's going to, uh, you know, leave me in a good position that I don't feel stressed when they show up. Everything should be completely dialed in and uh, ready to go. And I guess I'll probably take the aircraft out um, again at some point here and run it for a little bit. Although there's no real need for me to go out and do taxi testing or anything like that. Um, that just, you know, puts the aircraft at risk. It's ready to go right now and the guys are coming. I don't want to jeopardize anything. Um, by having anything weird happen while I'm out running it so but I will be um, taking it out 
just you know out of the hangar and firing it up at some point here um, just to make sure everything's running smoothly still because it's been quite a while now since I've actually fired up the engine I think to be perfectly honest with you the last time it was run was when the guys were here I haven't had it out um, because you know it's been disassembled for, for quite that amount of time so with a trim spring now mounted there to its um, bracket which is the elevator torque tube now I've got to hook up the linear actuator again so it's just a bolt going through there with a washer on it and then through the linear actuator rod and then another washer and then on the outside another washer and an eye lock uh, it needs to be able to move around in there so that's the washers stop it from um, binding up at all on the bracket so yeah once that's all sorted out um, that's that job all done and back together and as you can see you can still override it um, but it puts quite a bit of pressure on there as it should and now that that's done I can put the um, panel back in there that um, G3X 10-inch uh, screen so that has a little backing uh, trim sort of ring around the back of it that um, mates up with the four holes on the corners and it has like these little nut plates built into it so and just put the little allen bolts back through there and uh, you have to sort of um, put your hand around the back there in order to push on that um, backing plate there before you can get the uh, the allen bolt or the socket head screw there to engage in the little in uh, built-in nut plate but once it's not really that difficult to do and then of course i just you know reached in behind there as well and hooked up the um the connector for it and also the antenna for the gps and yeah, just firing up everything here just to make sure that it's all working and i realize now because it's been such a while that i've had all that running that the databases are out of date again so that's another job that i have to do not that that's super important but just another little job to go and download the latest stuff onto the sd card and then uh, go and get that all updated so i'll do that um, next week sometime just so it has the latest stuff in there and, you know you have to update those on a fairly regular basis so it's almost like a an ongoing job having to do that It'd be nice if they had it wi-fi thing built in that it could do it you know over the wi-fi because you know i've got that hot spot in there and it'd be nice if i could just press the button and it would update by itself rather than doing sd cards so another job i got to do here that i never did was just mounting um this bracket for the fire extinguisher and all i'm going to do here is just drill some holes in that false floor that we put in a while back and um, put some of those um those nut certs in there in uh, 832 diameter and just sort of screw that down so it doesn't move and it's in a fairly decent position in that you can just reach down there with one hand and undo the little um, clip that's that, that's on the bracket itself and then just immediately pull the um, extinguisher up so it's ready to use so and then, you know you'd use that if there was you know smoke in the cabin and you could potentially if you had a fire behind the the panel or something like that um, you might use it or if for some reason the aircraft was the engine was on fire and you were just taxiing around or whatever then you could use that fire extinguisher i can't really think of too many other reasons why you would use it but uh, you definitely need to have an extinguisher on board so yeah i just put the two screws in there holding that in and um just mounted that um, bracket like that and then the extinguisher just sort of sits into it and then just is clipped on with that larger clip that's in the center part of it as you can see here so that's that little job done and then uh, that's pretty much all I got done today although I did uh, also remove the three strike plates from the door locks there on the pilot side and that's allowed that door um, for now to close easier and not be quite so snug so for Justin um, it'll be much easier for him to open the door just with one hand without any problems so as you can see it's all coming back together again and uh, yeah next week I'll just uh, take it out and fire the engine up for a little bit and run it so that's the update for this week thanks again for watching and tune in again next week